Wednesday. Kinda wish we had something to review. We did? Awesome. Here it is. The IFX wireless sports earphones. Should you buy them? Now I know what you're thinking, Bluetooth earphones are kind of 10 a penny nowadays, you see them everywhere, you get them in all shapes and sizes, they cost all whole different prices, and the thing is you don't need to buy an expensive pair either. My daily pair at the moment is the uh, MPAL Magnetos, and they are a cracking pair of earphones, especially when they only cost something like £8 brand new. But the thing with these ones, these ones, they're magnetic, they're Bluetooth, in theory they should be everything that the MPALs are. The difference is these cost... Wasn't supposed to do that. These cost £2 brand new. That's like $3. I mean, granted, you know, I've heard of MPAL, I've heard of Anchor, I've heard of, you know, any other sort of smaller manufacturer that makes sort of medium quality electronical goods fine ifx never heard of them but are they any good it's time to get them out of the box and let's have a look at them so actually out of the box you have everything that you'd expect to have you've got obviously your earphones themselves you've got a usb cable which might i add is just a little bit small but, I, you know, it's micro USB, I'm sure you've got a lot of those kicking around, so I think you'll live. And then of course you've also got all your white air range of different buds, looks like there's several different sizes, also got ear loops as well to keep them in your ears if you like those sorts of things. I do have them in when I go to the gym, they are quite handy to have as well. And then of course you've got the actual headphones themselves. So actually looking at the earphones themselves, actually really good quality as you can see they are a magnetic which is a plus i don't know if that's the functionality of play and pause we'll test that out in a minute and the actual bodies themselves are made of what looks to be i mean it's certainly metal i would guess aluminium well no because then aluminium isn't magnetic is it i don't know but i mean that's sturdy build that's really really yeah, it's actually, I'm pretty impressed. For £2 so far, you've also got the control unit as well. There's where you charge your USB. Uh, this is a little bit chunkier than what you'd normally expect from a headphone, you know. I mean, when you wrap it around your neck sort of thing, it's, it's going to be quite chunky on your neck. But I suppose after a while, you probably wouldn't notice it. So I can forgive that. Over on the control unit itself, you've got three buttons as usual, although normally you'd have sort of play, pause, uh, volume up and down, I guess. It looks like it, it's both volume up and down and track skip, which is pretty cool. Uh, the MPALs do not do that. They only toggle volume, so that's pretty cool. I might, you know, that might sway me to use these a little bit more. Uh, and then, yeah, play, pause, turn the unit actually on and off as well. So I guess really the only thing we've got left to do is try these out and see what they're like. And they're not bad at all. I, I'm i pretty impressed actually, I got a little bit. There's the right quality of bass and treble. I mean, here, have a listen to yourselves. Not bad is it, it's not bad at all. Okay, we're gonna try something a bit different. Let's see if we can find something a little bit more bass heavy, just to really try them out. The bass is there! It's actually really good headphones! That's incredible! I actually... I can't get over it. One thing I do want to try though is, does it pause? Okay, so the magnets aren't functional as play and pause. I can live with that for two pounds. I can absolutely live with that. I can't get over how good these sound. So yeah, that's the, um, that's the IFX uh, wireless sport earphones and I can't recommend them enough. Um, that's actually, that's really blown me away. Uh, these could be replacing my MPALs. I'm, I'm deadly serious. I actually, it will, the other thing it would bubble down to as well, I've just tried the remote out, track skip works, volume works, 
play answer calls all work uh, for budget earphones. That is spectacular. Um, yeah, I mean, certainly, even if you don't want to get rid of the earphones you've got, I'd definitely, like, even if you just want to pick these up as, like, a spare pair, keep them in your backpack. Um, I don't know what the battery life is like on them. Uh, if I find out, I will put it either in the description below, or I'll tweet it out. I'll give you an update on Twitter as well. If you're not following me, shameless plug, at Radio underscore Russ, get me up on Twitter and see what you think. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys pick these up, because I'm actually really astonished. I'm going to put the ear hooks on them and try them next time I go to the gym as well. And yeah, should you buy it? Absolutely, absolutely buy these things. They are awesome. Now remember guys, if you did enjoy that video, and uh, wow, I'm still blown away by those things, and you want to see more of this stuff, let me know in the comments below, of course, please give this video a like, and of course, don't forget to subscribe, and then that way you will not miss the next episode of Should You Buy, but until then guys, take care of yourselves, and stay awesome.